Hello everyone, I am Manish Kumar Agrari, lecturer in Civil Engineering Department at Krishna Engineering College, Gaziabad. Today I am going to discuss arch, in which I will discuss introduction of arch, types of arches, static indeterminacy of arches, and analysis of three inch parabolic arches. Learning objective. After reading this topic, students will be able to define an arch. Students will get the knowledge of different types of arches. Students will get the knowledge of determinate and indeterminate arches. Students will be able to analyze three hinged arch. Introduction of arch. An arch is a curved beam in which horizontal movement at support is wholly or partially restrained. Bending moment developed in arch is lesser than beam due to which arch is economical than beam. Types of arch. Arches can be classified on different criteria in following three types based on shape, based on support and based on material. I have shown three types of arches based on support. First is 3 inch arch, second is 2 hinge arch and third is fixed hinge arch. In 3 hinge arch, 2 hinge are provided at the ends and third hinge is provided at the crown. Crown is the highest point of the arch. Static indeterminacy of arch. First is 2 hinge arch. In 2 hinge arch, 2 hinges are provided at the ends and at each hinge 2 reactions is developed so total number of external reaction is 4 total number of equilibrium equation is 3 so external static indeterminacy is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 that means 2 hinge arch is statically indeterminate of degree 1 it requires an extra compatibility equation to analyze 2 hinge arch Second is fixed arch in which two fixed supports are provided at the ends. At each fixed support, three reactions are developed. One is horizontal, another is vertical and other is moment. So total number of external reaction is 6. Total number of equilibrium equation is 3. External static intermediacy of fixed, fixed arch is 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. That means it is statically determinate of degree 3. Third is 3 hinged arch. In 3 hinged arch, 2 hinges are provided at the ends and third hinge is provided at the crown. This third hinge will provide an extra equation to solve this arch. So total number of external reaction is 4, total number of equilibrium equation is 3 and another extra equation is 1 given by internal hinge. So a static indeterminacy external of the 3 hinge arch is 4 minus 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. That means 3 hinge arch is a statically determinate arch. That means we can solve it by using 3 equilibrium equations. Analysis of 3 hinge parabolic arch. Key points. As we know that 3 hinge parabolic arch are, is statically determinate structure so it can be solved by using equilibrium equations. It contains an internal hinge at the crown at which moment is zero. Procedure to find reaction at the support. First of all, read the question carefully and sketch the arch with load and reaction at the support. Apply the three equilibrium equation namely summation fx0, summation fy0 and moment is equal to 0. Third, apply the condition that bending moment about the hinge at crown is 0. Moment of all the forces either to the left or to the right of crown is 0. By using these three steps, we can solve the arch to get the support reaction. Example, a 3 hinged parabolic arch of span L and rise H 
carries a load of W kN per meter on whole span that is UDL on whole span determine support reactions so diagram shown in the figure is for the above example W kN per, per newton load is applied on whole span 3 hinge arch 2 hinge is at the support and 3rd hinge at the crown at each hinge support two reactions are developed one is horizontal another is vertical similarly at other hinge support two reactions is developed one is horizontal another is vertical namely as ha hb va and vv span of the arch is l rise of the arch is h so by using three equilibrium equation we can solve the three hinge parabolic equation which is determinate in nature so summation fx0 is first equilibrium equation that is summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to 0 so ha minus hb is equal to 0 that means ha is equal to hb let it is h means horizontal thrust at a and b is same but in opposite direction summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to 0 that is vertical reaction va plus vv is equal to downward loading w multiplied by l total udl loading in downward direction is w into l take the moment about a is equal to 0 so summation of moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking clockwise as positive so vv will provide in anti clockwise direction about a so vv multiplied by l in minus sign plus w into l is the total loading udl downward direction into l by 2 from a is equal to 0 so we will get vv is equal to w l by 2 by putting vb in previous equation we will get va is equal to wl by 2 last equation that we will use is moment about crown is equal to 0 so summation of moment about point c is equal to 0 taking clockwise as positive and considering only left of c so moment about crown and taking only left of c va multiplied by l by 2 minus w into l by 2 into l by 4 minus h into h is equal to 0 so by putting value of va in this equation we will get h is equal to w square by 8h based on the previous example I have given three practice questions. You have to solve these three questions. These are simple basic questions based on the previous concept. Thank you.